Hello, God's beautiful people. Hello, hello, hello. If this is your first time here, my name is Tara and God uses me to speak into the lives of his children. If you are returning, I welcome you back and I welcome you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, and when I call y'all beautiful, I absolutely mean it because I absolutely know that each and every one of you are beautiful. And you know how I know that? Because God says so. He absolutely says that. So if you're sitting and you're looking and you're thinking and, and, and trying to figure out all the ways where you don't compare, sitting around thinking and looking and, and, and wondering why you can't be this way, why you can't be that way in the ways that you feel like you fall short. God sent me to tell you you're beautiful. He created you. He doesn't make mistakes. And this is not the word that I have for y'all. <laughs> and I don't know where this is coming from, but clearly somebody needs to hear this. You are created in God's image. And not only that, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Fearfully, not in saying the Lord was scared. It, said, it means he was careful. He took his time with you. He took his time with you. Don't you dare look at God's creation ever, not on the inside or the outside and think that it's flawed. Okay. A lot of people, my entire life has applauded, even when I was larger than this, my confidence. But there was a lot of people who tried to, to rob me of that. Oh, baby, they tried. <laughs> they tried. But it was something about the God in me. Even when I wasn't walking with him this way, it was something on the inside. Because I can tell you, I didn't grow up in a household of compliments. Baby, that was not our environment. But, but it was something that God placed in me to let me know, baby, strut your stuff because I created you. You are mine and you are a whole masterpiece. You heard me. You are a masterpiece. Don't you ever think that you're not beautiful enough. Don't you ever let this world rob you of the beauty that God has placed inside of you and on the outside of you. I refuse to let people rob me of anything, anything. For years, I didn't have a high school diploma. No one knew. I didn't get my high school diploma till I was in my 20s, some, somewhere down there. I literally got jobs and nobody knew I didn't have, they didn't ask, I didn't tell. Because it was the way I carried myself. You know, so hold your head up. Stop thinking you're less than. Stop beating yourself up. Stop being your worst enemy. Woo! Stop allowing people to diminish your purpose, to diminish you as a person and diminish you as a child of God. This is not the word that I had to come to deliver, but somebody needs to know that you were created with purpose. You were created perfectly and don't you dare let anybody steal that from you. We grow up in a society where they tell you how you should look. Nah, you look the way God wanted you to look. And I hate that the pressures of society makes people think that because you're this way, you're unhealthy. Because you look this way, you're this, you're that. Don't listen to the world. Only listen to God. I'm not telling you to go around and maybe eat Big Macs all day. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying because I live a healthy, healthy lifestyle. I'm not a junk fast food eater. I'm not. I don't do that kind of stuff. However, if somebody on the outside looking in, they may judge me that way. But I really don't care about your judgment because God knows who I am. And he has told me so many times, I created you to be who you are. Every stitch. So here I is. And there you are. Because God created you to be beautiful. God created you to be confident. How can you look in the mirror and not love what God created? A lot of you are being held back because you have not first accepted you. I'm going to say that again. <laughs> Who 
Lord. A lot of you are being held back because you have not accepted you. I'm going to wait. When I do this, then I'm going to do this. When I do this, then I'm going to do this. When I finish school, then I'm going to be able to do this. When I lose weight, then I'll be able to do this. When, and when I get this uh, hair, hair, when I can get my hair to look like this, then I'm going to do this. When I get this surgery, then I'm going to do this. Let me tell you something. God says, stop it. Stop it. That, that's not what he created you for. That is not what he created you for. He created you in his image. He created you to look how you want to, how he wanted you to look. He created you to be who you are. How dare you let anybody take that from you? How dare you let, let me tell you something. Oh Lord, why, why are we, why am I going this way? <laughs> why Lord? Why, 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 why? Cause this is not what I came on here for. Um, the world bullies. Oh man, it is even worse now that social media is a thing. The bullying is out of control. What is it? What is that, Lord? Jesus. Hold your head up, God says. Be confident. God says his children, you're not inadequate. You're not missing it. You're lacking confidence. A lot of you know God is moving you. A lot of you know that God is elevating you. A lot of you know, even know your purpose. But you're allowing your lack of confidence to hold you back. You don't think you are qualified. You don't think you look the part. You don't think. God says, you don't think he would choose you. He absolutely chose you. And he didn't choose you for superficial reasons everything about you has purpose everything about you is attached to your purpose god wants you to increase your confidence fall in love with yourself who come on through lord get comfortable <laughs> That's what the Lord says. Get comfortable. Look in that mirror for as long as you need to and get comfortable with what you see. Then after you get comfortable, he wants you to start liking what you see. And then after you start liking what you see, then he wants you to love what you see. And after you love what you see, then he wants you to fall in love with who you are. And once you fall in love with who you are, then he wants you to show it to the world. Take it with you everywhere you go. God created you. He made no mistake. Do you know how often people try to make me feel like I shouldn't be confident? What? Do you know how much in my life people, you hear a lot. I don't know why God has me going this way. But you hear a lot of people being bullied because they say, oh, I was bullied because of my skin color. I was bullied because I was dark skinned. I was bullied because people called me ugly. Do you know how often people try to tear me down because they feel like I'm pretty? Do you know how often people wanted to make me feel like because of my size, I shouldn't be confident? That I shouldn't be able to walk in a room and shut it down. Let me tell you something. You were absolutely created to be that person. And I will never let anybody or anybody's rejection. If they rejected you, they were never for you. This word is for somebody. I need you. Oh, oh, oh. 
Woo! Woo! I need you to get it together. I need you to pull yourself together. I need you to go to your Bible. And I need you to find every scripture written about who God says you are. And the way he created you. And what he calls you. And I want you to read it. I want you to absorb it. I want you to learn it. I want you to speak it. I want you to own it. Do you understand me? And then I want you to apply that thing. So wherever you go, everybody going to see the God in you. Because it's impossible to have the God in you and you not walk around like you that person. It is impossible. I never, let me, oh, if I could just, Lord, I got, I have some stories. I mean, I have from childhood all the way up until today. People will try to destroy you. I have literally been physically put in harm's way on my job. I worked in, um, okay, Lord, <laughs> I, I worked in a mental health field. And if anybody knows they work in the mental health field, there are going to be times that you have exacerbated situations, volatile situation, sometimes hard down, dangerous situations. And it can become very, very dangerous quickly. And I had this uh, director who did not like me. And, and it was because, see, when God covers his children, he does it in a humorous way sometimes. And that one thing that a person don't like about you, God going to make sure that it stands out all the more. So she hated the attention I got. So of course, anytime she was present, there was somebody who would go over and beyond. And this lady had got to the point where when we would get really agitated and dangerous and violent patients to just walk in because that's when patients most of the time are the most dangerous because they have had no treatment. Instead of her calling a code, she sent me. But guess what? Ha, <laughs> baby, you cannot stop the power of God. I, walk, I went out into this lobby with this patient. He was starting to get agitated. He was very psychotic and he was going after the EMS workers and everybody. And instead of her calling for backup, which is what we're supposed to do, she sends me, well, can you see if you can calm him down? And I just looked at her. And before I go out there, I always say, walk with me, Lord. I stepped out the door, y'all, and instantly the patient stopped dead in his tracks and looked at me. And he said, oh my God, I can't believe it. It's you. So now I'm scared because now everybody think I know this man. And I'm looking around and everybody's looking at me. All the attention is on me because now they think, she done did something inappropriate or something. And you know what this man said? He said, I can't believe it. I am standing right in front of the queen of Africa. Baby, I said, Eels, that's me. <laughs> She's your queen to be. That's me. <laughs> Baby, that was me. And because that's how God brought this man out of a psychotic state to see me that way. I was able to get him to do anything I wanted him to do. I mean, sign paperwork. He did everything because baby, he was with the queen. She was so angry. It was all over her face. See, some people will try to destroy you, but God will uplift you. But you got to be willing to walk in confidence. Don't you dare let anybody minimize you. Don't you dare let anybody tell you who you aren't. And this is not the word I was supposed to give, but this is the word that God has sent. He wants his children to be confident. He cannot use you if you are not confident in who he created you to be. So get to work. Work on that confidence. 
so you can go out into this world and fulfill your purpose. You can't do that without confidence. And most of you, your confidence is your appearance. Your confidence is you don't think your your lack of confidence is you don't think you looked the part. You don't think you're smart enough. You don't think you're qualified. God sent me to tell you, you are all of those things and then some. And he needs you to get to work on building that confidence. Okay? Because you got work to do. Don't you dare let this world stop you from living who God created you. I'm going to say that again. Who God created you to be. He's God. He does everything to perfection. Now go on with your perfect self and go work on that confidence. I love y'all. And I'll be back with the word I was supposed to give from the learned. <laughs>